Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of flagellate Martin algorithm with the help of simple solid example. To understand the flagellate Martin algorithm, we will take one example. In this, we are taking the stream S and this stream is containing the following elements. Those are 10, 12, 8, 15, 6, 9, 14 and 7. And here we will consider the hash function as h of x is equal to 5x plus 11 mod of 32. For some x, because of mod of 32 is there, we will get the 5 bit binary integer. And here we will show how flagellate Martin algorithm will estimate the number of distinct element in this stream. By using the flagellate algorithm, we need to estimate the distinct element. For that, we need to follow some steps. Those are, first one, we need to apply hash function to each element. After that, we need to convert hash value to binary. Then, we need to count number of trailing zeros in a binary representation. And we need to store that one in a R. Once you store the trailing zeros in R, from that one, we need to take the maximum R. And after that, we need to calculate the distinct count by using this following formula. That is, estimated distinct elements is equal to 2 raised to r maximum. To compute the trailing zeros, first I will consider the first element that is 10. We know the hash function. Here we need to put x value as a 10. So, 10 into 5 that is 50. 50 plus 11 which is equal to 61 mod of 32. So, 61 mod of 32 is equal to 32 ones are 32. So once you subtract 32 from 61, we will get the remainder as 29. So, uh, 61 mod of 32 is equal to 29. And this 29 binary representation is 11101. And here we don't have any trailing zero so that the number of trailing zeros are 0. Next, I will consider the next element that is 12. So, 12 into 5 which is equal to 60. 60 plus 11 which is equal to 71. 71 mod of 32 is 7. And the 7 binary representation is 00111. Here also we don't have any trailing zeros. So, the number of trailing zeros are 0. Next, I will consider the next element 8. For this one also we are getting the trailing zeros are 0. Next, I will consider the next element that is 15. So, 15 into 5 which is equal to 75. 75 plus 11 which is equal to 86. 86 mod of 32 is 22 and 22 binary representation is 10110. Here, we are having the one trailing zero so that the number of trailing zeros for the element 15 is 1. Similarly, we need to calculate trailing zeros for all the elements. Once you find the trailing zeros for all the element, next we need to check which one is having the maximum trailing number. So, here we can see that 3 is a maximum number in this case so that R maximum is equal to 3. So, by using this following formula, we can find the distinct number of element in that particular stream which is equal to 2 raised to R maximum. So, R maximum is 3 so which is equal to 2 raised to 3 which is equal to 8. It means that in that particular stream we have 8 distinct elements. So, this is the given stream, yes, and this is a distinct element stream. Both are same. It means that flagellate Martin algorithm correctly identifies the distinct element as 8. This is how we can estimate the distinct element from the stream by using flagellate Martin algorithm. I hope the concept of flagellate Martin algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.